Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to design flag character with Affinity and animate with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first one, open Affinity and go to click this new button. Add name, character and document units, pixels and size full HD. Then click this button for create document. So right now I will design very easy and simple character. Let's go to the shape layers, click this here and choose this rendered rectangle tool. And let's make shape layer like this. Okay, go to this red dot and make smooth like this. Okay, clearization tool and move to center. In this time, let's choose this shape layer and go to color. And let's choose color like this. Okay, choose this shape layer, hold Alt and let's drag to up. Okay, we have two layers here. We can control layers like this. Let's right here, hit one and this hit up. And let's change size like this and put here. So in this time, go to shape layers, click here and choose this ellipse tool and hold shift let's make one ellipse like this and go to color let's click this white cube and clearization tool so let's change name i white white left and hold alt and move to right okay and this name let's edit right here right so Choose these eyes and move to center like this. And in this time, choose these two layers. Hold Alt and move to down. And hold Shift, change sizes. And move to back. And color, let's choose black. Select this black eye and move to right. And this, move to left. And change name, let's move to up. And right name, black left and this black right okay and again let's go to shape layers click here choose this shape layer and let's hold shift let's create like this this is muff layer and clearization tool and hold shift chain rotation and put here let's hold shift change size so that's all and in this time let's go to file and export click export and choose photoshop layer you can change settings here and click export let's write character photoshop layer and save let's back to after effects go to project right click import and file choose this photoshop layer and go to import as choose here composition return line sizes and import Click OK and let's open Composition. OK, here we go. We have every single layers here. Let's select Background and Lock Layer. Choose these character layers and enable Title Action Save and move to Center. OK, and this time go to Layer, New and Null Object. Let's hold Control, double click, pen behind icon for move the anchor point to Center. Clearization Tool and go to window enable align click this icon and this icon for move to center null object and change name controller select this layer 7 let's write here name muff okay select muff layers and head up head one also eye layers black layers link to controller select controller let's see okay in this time let's create first keyframes select controller press p and create new parts in keyframe, go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can press hold shift, press page down keyboard. And move to right. Go to middle for dynamic movements. We can move to down for middle keyframe. Select keyframes, make it easy or click F9. And preview animation. Okay. Select this aisle left. Link to I left right. Select I left right. Let's move anchor point center. Clearization tool and press S. Click size icon 
and go to middle. Let's create scale two frame, go to three two frames. For go to frame by frame two frames, use page down keyboard one to three. Change scale five. Again, go to one to three, change 100. Make the two frames easy. And preview animation. Okay, select this black right and go to track mat. If you not see this track mat, you can click toggle switch mods. And go to track mat, link to I white right and enable I white. Let's see. Okay, so select this black left. Let's first link to black right and go to track mat, link to I white left and enable I white. Nice. Also, we can create controller for these eyes, but I don't do this for now. Okay, in this time, select this black right. This is my main controller, and for this, select black left and I white left. Go to toggle switch modes and click this icon, then go to hide all layers. I will control eyeballs with this black layer and press P. Let's create new bison keyframe. Go to three keyframes, one, two, three, and move to right. Let's see. Okay, not bad. We can move to left a little bit. And make the two frames easy. Nice. And select this I white. Hold shift press P. And go to here. Let's create new bison Q frame. Go to next Q frame here. And move to right. Also select this eyes. Move to right. So select this muff layer. And let's link to black right. Nice. And also select this head one. Let's press P and create new bison Q frame. Go to here and move to right. Let's move to right more. Nice. And in this time, go to 5 Q frames. Let's create new bison Q frame. Go to 10 Q frames and move to left. Again, go to back and choose these I Q frames. Control C and Control V. Let's move to right. Okay, and middle Q frame. Let's move to middle Q frame on controller. Nice. And I black Q frames. Let's go to here and create new passing Q frame. Go to some Q frames and move to left with muff layer. Okay. And also select head one. Let's create new passing Q frame. Go to here and move to left. And make Q frames also easy. Preview animation. And select this I white and go to here. Let's create new button Q frame. And go to next Q frame. Move to left. And this I black. Select last Q frame. Move to left like this. Nice. So guys, thanks for the watch of my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video, leave comments, and have a good day. Good luck.